Okay, here I am. I'm at Class L2 Post War Preservation. A lot of great cars here today. One of my favorite classes because you get to see original fit and finishes. And I'm in front of the 1959 Healy Silverstone, owned by Rich Myers. And uh, he's going to kindly uh, guide us through the car and tell us a little bit about it. Okay, yeah, so I'm here with the, the Healy Silverstone that I've been seeing on the tour. And I'm here with uh, Rich Myers. And, and he's going to tell us about this car. Okay, this is D number three, the third one made. I'm the third owner. Uh, Captain Robinson from Newport, Rhode Island bought the car. He raced it at Watkins Glen in 1950, uh, and he passed away probably around 1954. Uh, Ernie Moore from Fall River Mass was his mechanic. He ended up buying the car, and I bought the car 36 years later from Ernie. Uh, the car is absolutely original. When I bought it, it had 24,000 miles on it. It now has 27 on it, close to 28. Uh, I haven't touched the car uh, other than repaint the fenders. They, have, they were fairly scratched up. Uh, the tonneau cover is original. The spare tire is original. The seats are original. Uh, the rugs have been replaced at one point many years ago, at least 40, 40 50 years ago. Uh, the uh, car at this point has the hubcaps that were original uh, when the car was sold new, and it also has the original top, which is very unusual. Uh, most of these cars, they threw the top away. Uh, once they uh, bought the car, they never put the top on the car again. And it's uh, interesting, it's fairly ugly, <laughs> but I think that's what happened. The top still has the original Isinglass, which is very unusual, uh, and it's not uh, prototype. It's still good. Oh, there it is down there. There it is down there. And do you have any historic pictures of it racing in no. the book or no? No, unfortunately I do not. I have the original owner's manual. Original owner's manual. I have wow. the original uh, bill of lading from Hoffman Motor Company. Look at that. Back wow. when the car was sold. Yep. So that's unusual. Uh, and I have pictures of the car in, in period back in 1956. 56, look at that. Isn't that spectacular? So well, congratulations. That was, what an amazing piece. That was Ernie Moore's wife. That was the car in my warehouse. And there's a letter from uh, Brian Healy stating uh, I, I gave it to him to take to a national meet because I was coming out here. There's a national meet in Mount Laurel, New Jersey, where I live, or close to where I live, and I gave the car to him for the weekend to use. Awesome. So What a neat story. Uh, Beautiful. Well, thanks for sharing it. Thanks for bringing it to Pell Beach, and thanks for driving it. That's great, Rich. I appreciate your time. Okay. And yeah, awesome. Thank you. Thank you.